I'm staying in a small house here in the countryside that luckily has ethernet supplied to it rather than Wi-Fi. However, I was still experiencing headaches and brain fog when using my computer. So when this happens, the first thing I do is I test to see if there's any electromagnetic interference or EMI coming through the ethernet cable, which you can see is coming into the house here. So the way I test this is with two devices. This first one tests the low frequency EMI that comes from the power supply of the router. And you can see here that we're over 100 volts per meter, which is way more than you'd want to be exposed to. About one or two volts per meter is ideal. Now I test the higher frequency EMI with this AM radio. So if you have it on the AM dial tuned all the way to the right, that's testing if there's any frequencies at about two megahertz. So let's turn this on and see if, the, see if there's any static. So you can see that that's actually quite noisy. So we know that there's some higher frequency EMI coming through the ethernet cable. So there's two ways to reduce this. The first thing that I do is I use an ethernet switch. Now this ethernet switch is actually rated at about 10 megabits per second. So what it does is it slows down some of that higher frequency EMI and that will help reduce that when it gets to the computer. Then I run an ethernet cable from there over to here where I have an ethernet ground adapter. So if I connect that ethernet cable in here and I ground that ethernet adapter out here to a small copper stake which I have into the grass out there. Just a two foot copper stake is all you need. And then I have this entire ethernet system grounded. So if I go over here and grab my devices, we'll go over and test what the EMI is at my computer. So we'll put this one right next to the Ethernet cable. And you can see now that the lower frequency EMI is much less. We're down at one to two volts per meter. And if we test the higher frequency, you can see that it's actually much less. So this has reduced the EMI coming to my computer here. Now you can also see that I have a sheet of natural fabric. And I do this because there's a cell tower about a mile out in the distance. So I wanted to reduce the radio frequency coming to my computer setup here. So if we test this with radio frequency meters, and a magnetic field reader, you can see that the radio frequency is below one microwatt per meter squared. It's really low on the acousticom, and my magnetic fields are very low. So with the magnetic fields low, and the EMI low, and the radio frequency low, this has become a low EMF computer setup. So hopefully you can use some of these ideas to create your own low EMF computer setup at your home.